All right, guys, made it on the ground here in Morgantown. We're going to vacate to the right on uh, Delta, looks like this is. We're going to pick the flaps up. Then we're going to go landing light off, strobe lights off, and uh, low idle as well on the fuel condition lever. So that flight was just under an hour, I believe, to get from Dulles to here. We're going to do a couple turns over these next couple flights. I believe the next flight is back to Dulles, and then the flight after that is back here, and then back to Dulles, and then um, there's just a few more turns in and out of Dulles after that. So we'll pretty much just get ready and gear right back up and head right back out. Um... All right, we got close enough to these guys. Let's go ahead and set the parking brake. We'll go ahead and go fuel condition lever, feather the prop, and we're going to go with uh, beacon off, lights off, standby power off, avionics off, shutter down for now. And we're going to go ahead and submit the flight. I think that was a pretty smooth um approach and landing and everything so i'm looking forward to seeing what we get here 91 on the score not too bad let's see how we did negative 58 in the landing rate pretty good 1.2 in the g-force uh block time oh yeah because i had it paused for a while but the flight time was just under an hour like i said um taxi light again beacon light and uh, flaps up so typical failures and things we missed it's going to be fun to uh go for a different airline i think i already know where we're gonna head next um so i want to get through this schedule as quickly as possible like i said i'm probably what i'll probably do is i'll fly back to dallas and i'll put that in this video but then i'll probably emit these ones because it's like the same thing and then the dubois turn will be a video and the bradford turn will be a video and then we'll be done so a few more episodes of this and then we're moving on to a new airline so that being said guys hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one peace hello everybody and welcome to morgantown west virginia um, lied a little bit whenever I said we're going to get right back out of here, obviously, as it's dark. But uh, we are getting out of here. We are going to be heading back to Washington, Dulles, and then I believe right back here. Going to Dulles, then right back here, then back to Dulles, then Dubois, then Dullis, then Bradford, then Dulles. So we just got, uh, we'll finish this turn, and then we got another Morgantown turn, a Dubois turn, and then a Bradford turn, and we are done here at Southern Airways Express. All right, what are we cruising at? 11,000 it wants us at? Well, I guess we'll just get up there. We got to go above 11. Even though technically the caravan doesn't have oxygen, part 135 regs say we can't be above 10,000 for more than 30 minutes without oxygen. Let me see, 9,000. We'll just keep an eye on it. I'll switch it to 9,000. I'm even, we're heading east. I'll switch it to 7,000 and just to make sure. Are we already here? Okay, no, I was going to say. <laughs> um... I'll switch it to 7,000. Like I said, we're heading to the east, so we'll probably go up to 9. I don't want to... We'll go up to 11 or 13 if we have to, or 12 even, just for the sake of getting the points in a pilot's life. Obviously, this is a simulator. There's no FARs here. Um, so we'll, we'll go up to 9,000 initially, and if the thing says we're still in the climb out or whatever because that's what it does it says you're still in the climb out if you don't get to the cruising altitude that it thinks you should be at so we'll see it's a beautiful night um it's going to be smooth it's clear there's really no reason at all for us to be going above you know seven thousand. but um like i said it's a simulator so we'll just we'll send it why not and lights on high idle flaps take off Be ripping out of Morgantown here very shortly. Let's go ahead and set a thousand pounds on the torque. Engine instruments are green, set takeoff power. Takeoff power is set. Airspeed's alive, cross checked. Let's get uh, this heading bugged real quick. 70 rotate. And I have a positive rate.
above 95, speed check, flaps clean. Then call for the aft takeoff checklist. And we're looking for about 1600 before we make any turns. There's our 400 feet, let's go ahead and go left turn on course. Direct Martinsburg, we'll go, oh, I'm sorry, not approach mode, nav mode. All right, there we go. As we're straight out, we'll pretty much just go ahead and set the autopilot. Let it do its thing. I will do real quick. I'll get the, just the taxi light off for now. And like I said, it is a beautiful night to be flying here out of Morgantown. So we will uh, enjoy this climb out. Little, little remnants of the sunset still left. Let's see, weather in Dulles for right now, 170 at 6. They'll be landing south. So we're just going to start messing around and picking an approach. Uh, we'll go with one nine center as usual. Let's take uh, let's take the GPS. Let's see, that one's just WASP. That one's just RNAV. So we'll take the GPS to switch things up a little bit. Procedure, select approach. Let's scroll down to the GPS. RNAV GPS, Yankee, 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 runway 19 center, RNAV GPS, Yankee, runway 19 center, LPV approach. We'll take vectors, we'll go on, minimums are 472, we'll just go to 480, and we'll load it. All right, very nice. All right, guys, and we are just about approaching 9,000. Whenever we get there, we'll go ahead and set our cruise. Whoa, no, 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 no. Play, play. That's the button I wanted. They're out to green, 9,000. And we'll go ahead and just pump, pump the torque back just a little bit. And like I said, we're really going to bring that prop back to about 1,700 RPMs. Everything's within standards. Oil temperature again would be a little cold in the EX because you're looking for 32 to 99, but uh, in the 28B, it would actually be all right. It'd be zero to 99. So it's actually not bad. PSI is within limits either or 85 to 105. Prop RPM 1750 is good. It's less than 1900 NGs below 101.6. ITT is again a little cold, but um, it's below. Uh, so on the 28B, it would be 740 with a limitation of 710 for our company. Breaks, it's 805 on the takeoff. 765 on the climb, 740, 740 on the cruise, and 710. So yeah, really, you just want to blow 700. And then the prop, or the torque, you really wanted about 1700, 13. You really want? I mean, they say set it at 1300, but we'll see. Anyways, just yapping. Going to be a beautiful night flight on over there to Dulles. So yeah, it says we're in the cruise now, so we're good to be above uh, 9,000 here, and we will just see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we are looking a little bit high. We're going to go ahead and say they gave us the set and maintain uh, 3,000 initially. So we're just going to go ahead and vertical speed that on down now, probably pretty quick. Let's say we'll take a heading. We'll take some, we'll take a heading about 120 for now. I'm not necessarily vectoring myself onto the final approach course. I want to do this. I want to do a visual approach. Airport elevation is um, 312, so about 1800 would be the uh, 1500 feet above. So we'll set 1800 in there for now and just kind of see how we're looking. We're heading for 19 center. Uh, so procedure wise, we'll just activate vector to final type thing. We're already on uh, for that. And like I said, I just I want to be getting down as quickly as possible. 
might do a little chop and drop here. Uh, also, the altimeter here in Dulles is 3,005. We already have that set, so we're going to go there. Still at 6,000. Just started this descent a little bit quicker. I will right, we'll go ahead and start turning towards the field. We'll get about a we'll get about a south heading for now. Maybe a little less than that. Maybe like a one. Maybe a one, 170. Should do us some good here. We should be okay on the approach. We're going to go ahead and go landing light on. Um, we're going to send the prop uh, full forward. So here we come. We are booking it on down. Pretty much going to go to idle on the torque, too, and get below that. Uh... I'm going to take over and start hand flying here as well. Um... Under 140, we'll go flaps one. It looks like we can kind of, uh... whoa, chill on the descent rate for right now. I will, uh, I'll select approach mode just for the sake of seeing the glide slope and everything like that. No sense in not, uh, backing up the visual with the, um, actual approach and everything. Five hundred GL, we're stable. We're gonna continue. Five hundred. There's five hundred, I guess. Continue. Where's that ground at? There it is. 
Not too shabby. And we will make it off. Love that sound in reverse, by the way. Just absolutely love that sound. Yankee 3, just like we always do here in Washington, Dulles. And we're going to get uh, landing and strobes off here as soon as we cross. Landing strobes flaps up and low idle on the condition lever. All right, guys, pretty nice landing. Definitely feel like I'm getting the handle of uh, shooting approaches and stuff in this thing and really just hand flying in general and, and getting down on the ground um, softly. So that was a pretty good one. Um, other than that, we'll see you at the gate. All right, we're back in Washington, Dulles. We're going to grease this parking job just like we greased that landing. And then uh, we're going to get on out of here. And uh, we'll go ahead and stop it there. Set the parking brake. And we're going to go prop to the feather position. Feather or mixture cutoff. Turn off a fuel selector. And then coming over here, we're going to go beacon off. But we're going to leave... Uh, some of this other stuff on um, because we are going to turn right back around and head out to Morgantown again but we'll talk about that here in a second kind of mid park job not going to lie pretty bad even you could say the pilot's life interface but anyways we got a 91 on that pretty typical score it's what we've been getting uh, wait did I oh wait I didn't finish it hang on that's why I didn't submit it yet Stand by. Where is it? Submit the flight. Yes. Let's see. 40, uh, 54 minutes on the block. 46 minutes of air time. Okie doke. 93. There we go. A little higher. We'll take that. And uh, just missed the flaps on the climb and the landing light, which I never turn it off, so I don't get it, but... Same thing, climb in there. Negative uh, 85 on the landing rate, a little firmer than I thought, but we'll take it. 1.1 on the landing G-Force, and the 93 will take that. So, looking at the schedule, we go back. This is literally just a Morgantown turn again. So, what I'm going to do is not record that. We're just going to do it, and then I'll do the Dubois and the Bradford either recording, or maybe even on stream. We'll see. Uh, not too sure just yet. Um... So yeah, guys, with that being said, uh, we'll just do this one here overnight, and then um, we'll be back with you with the Dubois. We'll be right here in Dulles. We'll just be going to Dubois instead of Morgantown. So expect that. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time.